Hi, so in the last video we have learned this universal or general divisibility rule which can be used for any divisor. So in this video we are going to learn the logic behind this algorithm of universal divisibility rule. So quickly we'll go through the steps. First is a number is a divisor of itself. If dividend is less than divisor, dividend is not divisible. If dividend is odd and divisor is even, it is not divisible because each and every multiple of an even number is going to be even. Fourth is if dividend and divisor both are even, divide both by 2 to get it in the simpler form. This is exactly like getting a fraction into its simpler form or getting a ratio into its simpler form. And again, if you get an odd dividend and even divisor, then dividend will not be divisible by the divisor. And when you get a divisor as an odd number, what do we do is if dividend is even, divide it by 2 to get a new dividend or if dividend is odd, subtract divisor from the dividend to get a new dividend again and then we keep on following these two steps till any one of these conditions become true and we could find if the dividend is divisible by the divisor or not. So we'll take one example also and then we will go for the logic. So we'll check the divisibility of 11,931 by 97. 97 is a prime number and it is definitely an odd number. We can see it. Here the dividend is an odd number. So we have to subtract 97 from 11,931. 11 minus 7 is 4. 12 minus 9 is 3. Then we'll get 8 and this 1, 1. This is an even number. So we have to divide it by 2. 2 5s are 10. 2 9s are 18. 2 1s are 2. And 2 7s are 14. Now again we get an odd number. So we have to subtract 97 from this. We will get 7 minus 7 0 11 minus 9 2 8 and 5 now this is an even number so I have to divide it by 2 2 2 is a 5 2 9 is a 18 2 1 is a 2 and 0 this is again an even number so I have to divide it by 2 2 1 is a 2 2 4 is a 8 2 5 is a 10 and 2 5 is a 10 now I have got an odd number so I have to subtract the divisor from it 15 minus 7 is 8 14 minus 9 is is 5 3 and 1 this is an even number so I have to divide it by 2 2 6 are 12 2 7 are 14 2 9 are 18 6 7 9 minus 97 9 minus 7 2 17 minus 9 8 and 5 5 82 divided by 2 2 2 is a 4 2 9 are 18 2 1 is a 2 this is an odd number so I have to subtract 97 from it so 11 minus 7 is 4, 18 minus 9 is 9 and then 1 and 194 is an even number so I have to divide it by 2 2 9s are 18 and 2 7s are 14 and here I get 97 so this 97 is divisible by 97 so we can say that 11,931 this is also divisible by 97 so this was the procedure or the algorithm using which we check the divisibility and now let us discuss about the logic so what is the logic see here we are trying to get an odd number as the divisor and in the end we are aiming for the result which is the divisor itself so here are actually two things what we are doing is we are subtracting 97 or the divisor from the dividend so suppose if x is a multiple of y then x can be written as q times y or you can say y is a factor of x and if I add y both the sides so x plus y can be written as q y plus y or the right hand side can be written as y multiplied by q plus 1. So from here we can say that if x is a multiple of y then x plus y will also be a multiple of y and similarly if x is a multiple of y and if I subtract y from both the sides then if I take y common over here this will divide x minus y q minus 1 times. So from here we can say that if x is divisible by y then x minus y will also be divisible by y q minus 1 times right. So when we subtract this divisor from the dividend it actually doesn't affect the divisibility of the original dividend. 
so that means we can subtract or add any multiple of the divisor to the dividend without affecting its divisibility and another thing which we are using over here is any number any number which is a multiple of 97 or any divisor let us take 97 in this case can be written as 2 to the power n multiplied by any odd number multiplied by 97 any dividend which is completely divisible by 97 can be written in this form where n can be greater than equal to 0 so when this n is equal to 0 this result is an odd number and when this n is greater than equal to 1 this result will actually be an even number so this 2 to the power n is taken care of by dividing the dividend by 2 and this odd number is taken care of by subtracting 97 from the dividend so if the given dividend is completely divisible it will get reduced to the divisor itself otherwise it will be less than the divisor so i think the logic behind this universal divisibility rule or general divisibility rule is clear to you now so for many more interesting videos keep watching math smart and bye bye till then